Hello guys, welcome to CS50 Cash Walkthrough and Solutions. So today we're going to talk about the cash program. So first we're going to see how the cash program works. And this is the pseudo codes. And this is, they will have a section for the solution explanation. Please make sure you pause the video before you proceed to the solutions explanation sections. So this is the cash program. So we key in the dot slash cash. So the program gonna plot the change owns. So the user gonna put in some value. This value will be a, a decimal one, which represent a dollar. So the program will gonna run through some algorithm, some programs, some some sequence. So it will return to the user that how many coins that the user will have. So if you key in some negative value or non-integer. The program will reprop the user. So you can see here, I, I written off if the user reprop the user if the value is less or equal to zero and non integer. So let's see something like this. We're gonna use uh, an algorithm called a greedy algorithm, which means it will go from the largest to the smallest coin value. In this program, we have four types of coins. We have quarters, teams, liters, and pennies. So we have 25 cents, 10 cents, 5 cents, and 1 cent. For example, the user key in a, value, a dollars of 0 0.14. So we have something to track how many coins that the user will have. And we would also track uh, the, the value of the coin after minus off from the four type of coin. So for example, we are 0 0.4 once. First, we gonna minus with the 25 cents with the largest first. So we have 0 0.16, then minus 10 cents, we have 0 0.06, 0 0.01, and 0. So once the value reached to 0, we have to have the number of coins that the user will have. So 0 and the number of coins. Okay, so this is a pseudocodes. In our program, we're gonna include these three library, the CS50.h, the standard IO.h, and the match.h. So in the integer main void, this is the, the goal that we need to construct in our program. So the user is gonna input a positive float number in dollars. So we're gonna convert from the dollars to cents. Then we use the algorithm the greedy algorithm, 25 cents to 10 to 5 to 1 cents. At last, we're going to print the number of coins here. So the dollars, so the user, if the user key in some negative value or non-integer, the program is going to reprop the user. So something, we're going to use something like uh, this example here, get positive integer, a do while loop, and the get integer here. So for this to, to report the user for the non-integer, the get integer is already have a conditions to report if the value is non-integer. So we don't need to consider this uh, non-integer. All we have to consider is uh, value, negative value here. So this is a full chart. So the program will start, the user will key in dollars. We have the program will check whether the value is less or equal to zero. For example, the user key in negative 0 0.41. So negative 0 0.41 is less than zero. That's why it will reprop the user. It will go into a loop here. If the user key in a non-integer, the get integer will reprop the user. Okay. So if the user key in 0 0.41, so 0 0.41 is not less than 0, or it's not equal to 0, so it will break out from the loop. Then the program will store the value of the dollar here. Next, if once we have the dollar here, we have to convert into the cents for our calculations. If more decimal there will be more error so to simplify the the program 
going to use this formula to convert into a sense. So this formula is already in the question. The CS50 already uh, show these formulas for us. So what does this uh, this equation do is when the user key in a dollar zero point four one, it will convert to zero forty one cents. Okay, so this is uh, this formula you can find in the CS50. So next is the greedy algorithm. This is what we explained just now. So how gonna construct this in our program? How, how do we write this? We can use some concept, a wow concept. So you can see this, this is in the CS15 CS node. So first we're gonna decline i equals to 50, while i is more than zero. So i is 50 is actually more than zero. So this is a true statement. That's why the loop will keep going here. At last, the result uh, will print a 50 lines of hello world. Each, each loop, it will minus one by one. So for example, one hello world, I negative I will become 49. So 49 here, we're gonna check again with the condition, it's more, still more than zero. So we will print the second line. So something like that. So how can we apply this into our program? So what we do here, we want to have a, a, a something to track every loop. So instead of negative, negative, we can start from zero. Then we put a plus plus here. So every loop we have uh, a tracking, for example, one, two, and three, and so on. So this is how we track the coins here. So integer count is equal to zero. So for example, our sense is zero, uh, after we convert is 41. So while the sand is more or equal to 25, for example, now is 41 is more than 25. That's why this loop will keep going. So count plus plus, count will zero plus one, it, it will become one. So the 41 will minus 25. And we can have a multiple, multiple while loop for this three sequence or so. So that's why I put a dot dot for you to construct. Overall, this is the concept for this diagram here. How can we convert into the code? This is how we do it. At last, we're going to print the number of coins. So we can see from this example here, uh, this this program is to prod the user, what is your name? Then you user will key in some, maybe a John name. So it will store into this string here. So if you want to print this string, we have to include the string, the name here. Then this is S because it's the string. So for our case, is the number of coin is something like an integer. That's why we have to put some, for example, if the example just now is a count, so we have to put count here. So this is not S, our, our coins is integer, that's why I put an I here. So that's how we construct the, the code, the programs for the cache. Okay, now please pause the video and try to solve the problem before continue to the solution sections. All right, welcome back. Now we're gonna go through the solution explanation sections. All right, this is the program that I wrote for the cache.c. So first we can include these three library, cs50.h, standardio.h, and the max.h. Max.h is actually used for the round. And so in our program, integer main void, first we're gonna decline a as a as a float floating number. 
So we use the do while loop here. We ask the user for the change own. So once the user key in some value, which is a dollar, it will store in this A here. So if the user key in something like uh, 0 0.41, so 0 0.41 is, is, is it less than 0? No, 0 0.41 is actually more than 0. Alright, so this is the false false conditional that's why we break for, break out from this loop so after we break out from break out from this loop we will convert the the dollar the a here times 100 convert to cents so let's write it down something 0 0.0.41 0 is more than 0 so what we do here is 0 0.41 times 100 goes to 41 so we get uh, the cents here then we decline an integer count equals to 0 so this is where we do the while loop multiple while loop if the cents is more and equal to 25 it will plus 1 value for this case is 1 here Okay, so we will, the count will equal to 1. So negative equals, since it's negative equals 25, it will minus something like this. It will have 41 minus 25. Okay, so for the second one is also the same. So we have two coins. So the 41 minus 25 minus 10 then and then here same sequence we're gonna plus one some more so it become three and negative five so okay then here we have the one here so it become four coins and negative one so actually the concept is the same you just have the dollars convert to cents then we minus 25 then plus the count minus 10 plus the count minus 5 plus the count minus 1 plus the count so we have four coins here for this example 41 cents so after we have minus everything what we want is the count here so that's why we put f uh, percentage i then the count this is how we print the largest coin used to, ch to change the user interview so it's the largest of coin huh? something like that i think the just now the statement is not really correct so total number of returns so let's test the program and see whether is it correct. So we have 41s. So 160. Because it's 41, it's not 0 0.1. So let's try again. 0 0.41. Yeah, 4. So 41 and 4 is 0 0.41 is a huge difference here. Let's see whether if it is not even negative 2.4 once we prop the user. Full we prop the user until we have 0.4 once. Yep, the program works. So this is how uh, we construct the program for the C. So thanks for watching and see you next time.